Is there intelligent life in space? Last week, we discovered that we are not alone. With this film, the door to the universe opens for every Martian. First films of our successful Earth shot from the cameras on our orbiting spaceship. Despite the poisonous oxygen-laden atmosphere, signs of a civilization. And then the big news. There is life on Earth. Although no landing was attempted on this trip, it's obvious we've got a lot to learn from the Earthling. Now, First close-up shots of that Earthling. Here we see him at dinner, a carefully regulated meal, after which he takes shelter for the night. He needs his rest. As you will see, it's going to be a busy day. For most Earthlings, it appears to be all play and no work. Anything that stands in the way of the smooth, fast life is not tolerated for long. Loud honking and squawking brings a worker on the double. proceeds to prearranged gathering places. At first, our scientists were puzzled by this stately procession. The simple reason, they enjoy each other's company and have an almost compulsive desire to play elaborate games together. <laughs> Occasionally, they stop to chat, but any lag in games and dancing brings a sharp response from briskly efficient social directors who never leave their posts. fun and exhaustion. There's a steady run on spas and medical centers. <laughs> Nor is the mind neglected. Education is everywhere. spends a lot of time browsing in curiously designed libraries. Often connected to such libraries are audio-visual centers. From every angle and by every means, the Earthling is being conditioned. What is he learning? What is his ultimate purpose? It is here in 
this retirement park that the meaning of his joyous celebrations and feverish education becomes clear. The mature individual is now ready to make his essential contribution to his civilization. He instructs a worker to prepare him for his last act. He is now in proper shape to reproduce. Earthlings have done away with the stresses and untidiness of sex. The reproductive process takes place in three or four huge breeding centers. Although this process is shrouded in secrecy, our scientists believe that it must go something like this. Newborn earthling, full grown, ready for a place in society. that such a highly developed civilization has not yet found a way to combat parasites. These pesky little creatures build huge hives or nests, which often block or slow down the orderly progress of the earthling. However, the earthling seems to have this matter in hand. The eradication of these pests is obviously a top priority job for the working class. And so we look forward to our first soft landing and direct contact with the fascinating Earthling. Well done, scientists of Mars.